One moment, please. Evil Carver, how can I help you? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm okay. Um, how far back do your cameras go? Um, good question. Let me get you to management. Hold on. I'm sorry? <laughs> then if we play about getting you on the phone with the manager, y'all, they click off that phone text. They do not play about getting the manager on the horn. Thank you for calling Nuclear Cover. This is Betsy. May I help you? Hey, your name is Betsy? Betsy, yes. Hey, how are you? I was wondering, how far do your cameras go back? I'm sorry, what now? How far do your cameras... Okay, so let me tell you what I was trying to figure out. Let me tell you what's going, what, what my scenario is, Um, what's going on right now. Because I was trying to figure out how far do you, do you guys' camera go back? Because um, my daughter, um, she's 16 years old. And apparently she was having sexual intercourse in one of you in you guys' bathroom. So there wouldn't be cameras in any bathroom. No, but what I'm okay, I'm just, I'm not so ma'am, I understand that. I'm I'm talking about my daughter. I'm thinking it goes back about thirty days. Thirty to sixty days. Okay, okay, please okay, please don't overspeak me, but what I'm saying is I would to see exactly um, could you show her in the store with a, a, a young man or if it was an employee? Because I don't know if it's one of your employees or someone that she she came up there with. Well, I personally don't have access to them, but you we don't we can't hand out video to just anybody. They have, it has to be. Ma'am, I'm talking about my daughter here. I understand policy, I understand, but, it, but you work at a grocery store. It's not that serious. You're not working for the FBI or a bank. Yes, but we still don't give out any video unless it's to a police officer ever. Oh. Okay, well, who who would I have to talk? Okay, well, I'm I'm trying to figure out because it could have been one of your employees, is what I'm saying. Do you have any kids? Yeah. Do, you, do you have any kids? I do, I do, but we still can't give. What? What do video. you? Okay, yeah, do you I have any? Do you have? Do you have daughters? I don't. Do you have a date and a time when you think it Exa happens? Exactly. You don't have any daughters, so what I'm coming from, you wouldn't understand. Um, <laughs> it was possibly like two days ago. Well, they'll keep that on there for a while, but like I said, unless you know about what time or it had to be like sometime said, between won't, three. Won't it had to be some time. Okay, can you stop over talking me, ma'am, please? Sure. So it had to be sometime between four and five p.m. Because okay. it was had to it had to be at, at after school hours. She was out of school. And somehow she made her way up there and I actually got a call from a girlfriend that said she saw my daughter going into the restroom with a young man. And she said she couldn't tell if the guy um, was a worker or just a schoolmate. She didn't know what it was. And she didn't feel like she had that authority to approach her. And so I just want to make sure if maybe she's not telling if my friend is lying with my daughter or was it just something innocent? I just, that's why I wanted to see the cameras. And I feel like you're being very passive aggressive with me um, as if I'm not calling about a concern for my child. And you don't have any no, daughters. So no, I understand you're not being empathetic to my simple with a situation. It's not even that. I am empathetic. I just don't. No, you're it. not. Because you're when sitting I, here telling me I can't see the footage. Like, what am I going to see on your cameras if I'm looking at the store? Like, what am I going to see? The Krabby Patty formula? This is a corporate policy. This isn't a store policy. This is how it is at all cookers. It's not <sighs> me saying it. I understand that, ma'am. But this is a circumstantial situation. I don't give a fuck about corporate. Excuse my language, but I don't give a fuck about corporate. I'm talking about my daughter. I understand that, but we still don't show video ever to anyone other than the police. So you're telling me if I came up there, you wouldn't help me try to see what's going on with my daughter. You would sit there and tell me my face. I actually thing. don't have access myself. Okay, so, so why, did you, why would you just not say that? That you don't have the authority to do it. So who would I have to speak to? 
you probably have to talk to the manager, but he's going to tell you the same thing. Well, okay, well, that's not your place to say. Maybe he's a little more empathetic than you, and you just take your job, your minimum wage job, a little too serious. So can I speak to him? He's not here this time of night. So he not actually won't be back for, he's off tomorrow, and he'll be back the next day. So why would they give a cashier the phone? I thought you were the manager. The guy that answered the phone said he was giving the manager the phone. I don't have time for these games. Yeah, I'm the manager. On duty right now. Because if I have to, if I have to come up there and look at for for myself, I would do just that for my kids. I don't know about your kids or what type of mother you are, but for me, I would go to the end of the world for mine. <laughs> These people are mean. Oh my god! Oh my god! These people are mean, y'all. They are mean. They like. <laughs> They do not care about nothing. Thank you for calling your neighborhood Kroger store. How can I help you today? You can say... They do not care. They just, they just hang up... One in moment, your, please. They just hang up in your face. You can start to have to help you. Um, hi. I was just speaking with an uh, elderly lady. The manager... Is the manager on duty? Uh, yeah. Is the manager here? Someone just hung up in my face just now while I was on the phone. What is it? Someone just hung up in my face and they said that it was the manager on duty. So I don't know what's, what's, are you the manager? Because I, it was another lady, an elderly lady. She hung up in my face. Her name was Bex. No, uh, Her name was Betsy or something. She was very rude. Yeah. She was very rude, very nasty. Racist and just very combative. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm not a manager, but... Uh, well, you just said you... that you were a manager. No, I, I didn't. You... I'm not, I, I... You just... I said there's a manager here, but I'm not a manager. Okay, okay, so who's the manager, sweetheart? I don't want to talk to a cashier. I don't want to talk to someone who scans bell peppers and packs the meat all day. Who's the manager? That's he's the manager. Can I speak to her, please? Yes. She literally just said she was the manager. She literally just said she was the manager. <laughs> she literally just said she was the manager. <laughs> I'm a hoe right now, y'all. I'm a hoe. Like, what? But my thing is, though, what if I was a real mom calling with this? Because that's why I'm really gagging at these places. Because when I was working, like, the customer's always right. We got to try and make it right. But what if this was a real thing that was happening and y'all are just not even caring? You talking about corporate and it's against policy. You could her. This is Meg. This is who? Meg. Um. That's who's busy with the customer and the other manager on duty. Okay, so I keep talking to people that they say you're a manager and then they say they're not managers. So are you a cashier, a bag, a bagger, or a manager? I am a store manager. Okay, so why was I give the phone given to you at first? Because I they gave her the phone when I asked to see to a manager. Yeah, Betsy, she's a store manager as well. So why did she say there was no one on duty that could show me camera footage? And she was very rude, very very passive aggressive, and very nasty and racist to me. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so uh, how many? Okay, so how many managers are there tonight? Who's the man? Who's the manager in charge of closing? Who's the manager with the keys? Who's the Who's the manager? Manager? That would be Betsy and I. So who has more leverage, you or Betsy? Because I don't want to speak, speak to an understudy. If we both are about the same. So the, uh, so here's the thing. I'm. I try to explain to Miss Bexy in the, in the nicest way possible, but I think my daughter got fucked in your restroom, and I'm just trying to see camera footage to see if she was really there with a the young man, and she's not really understanding that. And I told her, I don't know, if, are you a mom? Because I just don't think anyone who will, if you're not a, a, a mom of a daughter, you wouldn't understand. So, I am, but we can't show camera footage or look at the camera footage without a police report, unfortunately. Um, even... Yeah, uh, but you, all you have to do is literally log into a computer and sh go to a... I understand that, but we cannot do it legally without a police report. Well, how do I know what type of report's about? I don't know who did it or what happened. I'm trying to figure out if it was one of your employees 
or if it was some that she went. Maybe ask your your daughter, or maybe call. Like, okay, don't. I'm don't. I'm okay. Don't bring my daughter into this. I'm. I, what makes you think she's gonna tell me? Oh yeah, mom. I was at the Kroger's with such a like. How? What are you a new mom? Are you serious? Oh no, but. Hello? Um, I would just call the police. Wait, I'm like, sorry. Are you, I'm sorry. Are you laughing right now? Is there a smirk on your face? And I'm screen recording this. No, for, ma'am. And I'm rec- yes, there, I heard you laughing. You went on mute. I'm not laughing. Yes, you were. I heard it. And I had this on screen recording. We heard you. I heard you laugh and then you went on mute. I heard okay. it. I heard it. I heard you chuckle. You have a smirk on your face. I don't make me come and wipe that smirk off your face. I'm talking about my daughter here. Okay, and I understand that. No, you don't because you're laughing behind the phone with a, a big smirk on your face. No, I am not. Yes, you are. I hear it right now. Are you think are you think I'm dumb? Are you trying to play me right now? I'm not. I'm telling you that there is nothing. So that okay, I so can so do. why did you mute yourself? I don't know what you're talking about. I heard when you went on mute, you chuckled and you went on mute. You had a big smile on your face. So I will come wipe off because I don't play about my kids. All I'm asking is to see the camera footage from two days ago. Just to see if my daughter, yeah. I need to see if my daughter was having sexual intercourse in your, in your bathroom. It's nothing like, are, is, what's so hard? I'm telling you. To, that we cannot do anything. Well, we I understand. I'm police. Is, how can I follow a report? report? How can I follow a report if I don't know what? How can I follow a report if I don't know if it was one of your employees that was fucking my daughter? I have no idea. I cannot. Exactly. Do you don't have no idea. Have so stop saying you have no idea. You have no idea, and you have no idea what I'm going through right now. I. It doesn't matter what if what? I know or not. I have. Wait. So you're saying my daughter having sex in a Kroger's restroom doesn't matter? It doesn't matter if I know what you're going through because I can't do anything you, and I wish imagine I could. If, imagine if it was your kid. Are you serious right now? You got to be a little bit more empathetic. I'm saying that I am empathetic towards the situation, but there is nothing that I can do without a police report. Corporate policy. I cannot do anything. So if you get a police report, I'd be happy to I'm, do anything that you But how can I follow? I cannot. I, how can I, I how can I file a report if I don't know what's going on? I would call the police and ask them how to proceed. Because I don't want to lose my job to help you. I understand. Are you serious? So you were ready to sit here and let a young girl be under whatever happened then you for you to lose your your minimum wage job. Are you are you serious right now? What kind of shit is that for you? Are you serious? Firstly, not a minimum wage job. Very, Secondly, very minimum wage. You bagging meat all day. You're saying you a young girl's virginity doesn't matter because you don't want to lose your job. Hello. There's there's nothing I can do. Is there anything else I can help you with? Ma'am, I'm really trying to be nice right now, and I feel like, why are you going, why are you taking this as a joke? I hear you going on mute, and you're snickering. I'm not taking it as a joke. I'm telling you there's nothing more I can do. Well, I'm going to tell, well, I'm going to tell you what I, well, I'm going to tell you what I can do. I'm going to be in the parking lot at closing time. That's what I can do. We will call the police on you then. I don't care. I don't care. Calling me to call, but I will be out. It's not against a lot of me in the parking lot. Yes, it is, because this is private property, and I can ask anyone I want to leave, and if you don't leave, then that is it. Well, you will get well, arrested. well, I'll leave when I'm done handling my business. I'm saying if you, you don't leave, and if I call the police, so. you, you and Betsy, I'm going to see you. I'll, I'll be in the parking lot at closing time. All right, we'll call the police on you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> She's a monster. 